Canada told us about a dessert that revives sweet childhood memories in them and is also sometimes referred to as Canada's favorite confection. Nanaimo bars, a no-bake dessert consisting of three well-balanced layers of nutty, sweet and creaminess. Our Canadian friends even dedicated a stamp to this sweet sensation, so let's try to make some in this episode. For our first layer, a crumb base, we will need Graham Waver crumbs, which we will make out of digestive biscuits, the best substitute that we could get our hands on here in Europe. Moreover, we will need a cup of coconut flakes, some finely chopped almonds, a few tablespoons of cacao powder, a fresh egg, a bit of fine sugar and some butter. Let's start by pulverizing our crackers, for which we shall grab a clean kitchen towel, place 180 grams in there and proceed to letting out some steam. Play the drums and whack a mold before you give it a few spins in your food processor. Once it's nicely crumbed, you should end up with 1 and 3 fourths of a cup. Mix those with the finely shredded coconut flakes as well as almonds and set aside. Grab the butter, sugar and cacao and move over to the stove where we set up a double boiler aka bain marie by filling a pot with water, bringing it to a slight boil and placing a metal bowl on top. This brilliant innovation gently melts ingredients with the heat of the steam making sure to reduce the risk of scorching enormously. Drop butter and sugar in there, stir constantly till fully melted, then drop in the cacao powder and whisk till all lumps dissolve before adding a beaten egg. While beating the egg, don't make your life more difficult than necessary and either use a smaller whisk or a bigger bowl here. When adding the egg, make sure that you're already speedy whisking the mass in order for the egg to be incorporated in no time, otherwise you will end up with chunks of scrambled eggs. Continue whisking for a few minutes till the ingredients unite and the mass thickens. Then fold in the crumbed nut mix and your first Nanaimo bar layer is ready to be distributed over your 8x8 inch or 20x20cm form. Evenly spread and press it with your spatula to a firm mass leaving no space in between and move on to your second layer. The custard filling, for which we will need some of that unsalted butter, heavy cream, a lot of icing sugar and some custard powder. Drop half a cup of unsalted warm butter into a big enough bowl and unite it with the cream, custard powder as well as half of the sifted icing sugar before adding the remaining half at the end. Once you get an even mass, you gotta grab your whisk and fluff it up. If you own a proper electric whisk, congratulations! Our transformable blender did more damage than it helped while whisking as it hurled all the icing all over the place, including our beautiful curtains. So maybe it's better to proceed manually after all, although fluffing things up like this will take around 10 to 20 minutes till the volume nearly doubles. If you get there without your arms falling off, spread the custard icing over your layer of almond cocoa crackers, but make sure to not cover an area bigger than 8x8 inches or your middle layer will be too thin. Alternatively, if you use a bigger or smaller form, adjust the ingredient quantities accordingly. We didn't and hence had to leave out around 20% of the area. Anyways, moving on to the last layer, for which we will need a bit of butter as well as a few ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. We will unite those in our double boiler till fully emulsified, which shouldn't take too long. However, before immediately pouring it on top of the custard layer let it cool down a bit. Moreover you want to make sure to erect a wall if you had not enough of layer 2, otherwise your melted chocolate could run into the ditch and you would end up with little to none of layer 3. We had to improvise here, cut off a piece of our base and set it up vertically which worked pretty well actually. This also came in very handy in the aftermath for we had no difficulties in getting our Nanaimo bars out of the form. Now pour the slightly cooled but still liquid chocolate on top and evenly spread it. Be very careful and don't press it into the custard layer. Then cover the form with plastic wrap and let chill in the fridge for at least 3 hours before serving. And there you go! You're holding a huge Nanaimo bar worth north of 5000 kilocalories in your hands. So make sure to cut it into as many portions as possible and share them with your family, friends and or co-workers. Otherwise you easily run the risk of overeating this delicious sweet treat which will make your belly ache. Now it's time to enjoy your Nanaimo bars. Bon appétit! Good. Mm.